All the games we've played, 32, we've won 14, drawn 9, lost 9. Official games, we've played 14, won 7, drawn 5 and lost 2. Uh, World Cup qualifiers, we've played 4, won 3, drew none, lost 1. African Cup of Nations, we played 4, won 1, drew 3 and lost none. World Cup and African, World Cup, and African Cup of Nations, we've played 8, won 4, drawn 3 and lost 1. In official matches, we played 14, won 7 and drew 5, lost just twice. There have also been a number of friendlies for me to test ourselves and the victory over current world champion Spain will be a night I will never forget and South Africa should never forget. That game, that result is an indication of what is possible with a plan and a vision. Bafana does have the talent and the ability to compete and, de and defeat the very best and we must never forget that. Personally, I'd like to thank uh, my friend and colleague uh, Sarami for a wonderful job and support he's given me. Alex Aridia for the support he's given me. Um, it's been absolutely tremendous and um, I just hope that uh, these two guys can continue with Bafana Bafana because they're a big asset to, to the country. And also, of course, I don't want to forget Barney Kajani, who's absolutely outstanding as a manager. You know, I never, he was absolutely world class and um, the older he gets, the better he gets. He's been fantastic, so I want to thank him personally as well. And um, there's not much more I can say. You know, life goes on and a decision has been made. Uh, the nice thing is, I think I'm going to be one of the few coaches that haven't been fired. So, <laughs> so, um, so we all move forward from here. But we're all, we're all looking for, for positive positive things for this country. You know, I'm a South African and I'm a thoroughbred and um, all I want for this country is for Bafana to do well, just like you wanted to do well, just like the rest of us and the rest of the country do well. And um, it's just a pity, it's just a pity that the business was only halfway through because we had another job to do, but I'm sure the new person taking over will be a very, very good coach and he needs your support and he needs our support and we'll do that because we all want to see South Africa going forward. Together we've had a good run which has seen the foundations have been laid for the vision and plan ahead for Bafana Bafana in order for them to move forward. This is illustrated through the introduction of many young players introduced under my reign, some of which like Dean Furman, May Mishlangu, Ayanda Patosi and others, for example, have gone on to establish themselves as true leaders and future stars of this team of ours. <clears throat> We also managed to overcome the old stigma of not being able to score goals at the top level. Over the last 32 matches, we have managed to score in excess of 1.5 goals per game. All in all, I am looking back as a South African, I am incredibly proud of the fact that we have seen the team move up the world ranking, FIFA rankings, whilst under my tenure, and hope we can continue to do so moving forward under my successor. However, whoever that is, I wish him all the best with his appointment and will always be available to assist Bafana Bafana wherever possible. I believe this team can do a wonderful things with the vast talent I've seen and I believe I hand over a national team that is in a far better state than the one I inherited. It has been my distinct privilege and honour, the highlight of my career to have been the South African men's senior national team coach for the last two years. Of course, I am deeply disappointed with Safa's decision undertaken yesterday not to extend my contract beyond August. However, this is a football and it's the nature of the game. I have called this press conference in order to have the opportunity to personally thank those who have supported me throughout the ups and downs, from the SAFA Executive Committee right through to the technical staff and players. There are too many names to mention each and every one individually, but certainly I would like to thank the likes of Danny Jordan, Sarami Lasoko, Barney Kajani and Alex Aridia, who have worked closely with me throughout this journey.